Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry, the lighting is gonna be really bad on this, and yes, I am sitting on the floor of my bedroom because I couldn't wait to get this one started. My husband and I went to Target tonight and we bought this Harry Potter 12 Grimwald place and I just could not wait to get it started. It's 1,083 pieces. I already took the tape off the side. So these are all the characters that we can get. And then if I flip it around the back, I just, this was part of the reason I was so excited for it because it like literally can open and close. All right. There we go. So it looks like we've got seven bags, not including the fact that there is a double bag for number five. I got some stickers. And then the actual directions. So we will get this started and get it all put together. All right, bag number one. One thing about me, I'm very particular when I do Legos. I kind of like organize by color and size. So I'm gonna do that and get this section put together and I will show you once bag one is put together. All right, bag one complete. Through step 21. And we got two characters, including Harry. They're brooms, they're wands, and I thought this was kind of cool. Pop off our hair. So on the back, is, if I can get it to focus, there we go. There's her pig face, and her purple hair. Alright. Bag number two. Looks like we're going to get another character. And we might get some movement with this now. Alright, so. There we go. Okay, so part of the way through bag two. Definitely starting to get some movement going. So I got this sliding in and out. And there we go. End of bag two. Another character. And definitely more movement now going on. Come, these two go out. And in. And this goes up and down. It's hard when I'm holding the camera. There we go. Alright, so bag three. Looks like we're going to be building part of the inside of the house going through here. Got some doors. Some kitchen. Like we're gonna get another character. I'm guessing we're gonna get Hermione and Crookshanks. All right, so bag three complete. I am gonna finish for tonight because the lighting is getting even worse. Um, we did get one more character. I originally said Molly, or I'm sorry, Hermione, but my kiddo came in and said Molly, and then I do think that's Crookshanks though. And now we have a door and some windows and I thought maybe it was going to be a bed but not quite and then if we look on the back we are looking into the little kitchen so bag three I'll do another tomorrow probably of maybe the rest four five six seven but we'll see what I have time for 
um, and hopefully we'll have some better lighting. Okay, everybody, we are on day two. The lighting is much better because, let's see, it is 1.30 in the afternoon at my house right now compared to the 9 o'clock at night I was doing this yesterday. Um, we're going to do bag four today. We're going to get another character, and it looks like we're going to start building up the sides for the other two housings on the sides of Grimwald. All right, so let's keep moving. Here's here's what we got yesterday. So we're gonna be building off the two sides now. So I wanted to also show this as a real quick example. So this is bag number four, all the way laid out. When I said yesterday that I like to organize my pieces, like so you can say like I got my browns, my grays, my whites, they're all by their sizes. So some ladder looking pieces, one by fours. Um, this one has gold and clear. I don't know if you can see like the little windows. <laughs> um, so I just kind of like to leave those out together. Takes a while for me to do it, which is probably why it takes me so long to do Legos. That one probably, it probably took me over five minutes to separate um, just the bag. And it had two little bags in it too, where my son tends to just dump and build. <laughs> and he could have probably gotten through this thing in a matter of like two hours last night, but that's okay. So yeah, just a quick example of what it is that I do. Okay, here we go. Bag four complete. You can see we now have 11, 12, and 13 Grimwald Price all done. I push this back. These come in to hide it behind. And separate out again for it to come. It does come all the way forward, but with one hand it's a little bit difficult. And then in the house, as you can see, there's a little bit of decorations. Chandelier over here, some doors over here. So that is bag number four, and now we will go do bag number five. Okay, so bag number five looks like I don't know if this is going to be Ron or Mr. Weasley because the other one was Molly, um, but bag number five actually is two separate bags, and then there is like the extra plastic bag in there with the itty bitty pieces. So we're gonna dump these out, get them separated, and find out what comes next. All right, so bag five is complete. I was wrong, it was the Weasley twins. Obviously I could not tell you who was who, which one's George, which one's Fred. And then we made the second story of number 12. And then if we flip it around, so we obviously had like the kitchen down here. We have this cute little piano for sec like floor two, and then floor three has these little skulls. At first, I was like not sure what these were when I pulled them out because there was no extra like bodies. Um, yeah, they go in there, and then there's like a little candle back there, and the roof. So floor two, this is the back so far, and then we flip it around to the front, and then let me see if I can. It'll be a weird angle, sorry. <laughs> As it closes. So eventually the others must do these and build it up also. Okay, so on to bag six. It looks like this time we're definitely gonna get Ron. I'm gonna start building up some of the insides of the house. So here's bag number six. There's only this one and bag number seven left. There we go. So we definitely got a little Ron. And then here's what it ended up. A little, it looks like a little weather station. Bedroom with some hanging bats and the Gryffindor logo. A little couch. And it's going to go right on top here. See if I can do this with the camera in my hand. There we go. Just like that. And then I bet you bag number seven is going to do this side. Alright, and final bag. Bag seven. One more character. 
I've got my supervisor of my pup. So bag number seven. I'll be finishing it up. Here's like a bunch of them. So it looks like we're just going to do this other side. Alright. Bag number seven is complete. So here is all of our characters that we got. Moving on up. So all the buildings. When we flip around, you can see inside there's beds and tables you've even got like the black family over here the wall to the top then we flip around in the front and they close this is very hard to do with holding the camera There we go. It closes with a little bit of camera magic. And you can't see the blockhouse anymore. So now we just have number 11 and number 13.